Hi everyone, welcome to my channel once again. Yes, it's your girl. I'm back. Um, welcome if you're watching for the first time and if you are a new subscriber, hey, welcome to my vlog. This is where I talk about most things or anything that comes to mind. I recently uploaded three um, series, video series, um, concerning my immigration story of my husband coming to America. Okay, and that video so far has been receiving a lot of um, um, comments, a lot of questions. I'm very happy that I'm able to help people out there that are looking for, you know, answers to some questions they can find on, on YouTube. Um, we all know this day and age, if you're looking for something, you quickly go type it in on YouTube and see what you can find, okay? But um, after posting those videos, a lot of people have watched them and... A lot more people still have questions okay so I decided to do a quick video just answering some questions I've gotten because you know some some people might have questions in mind and they haven't asked it yet and some people have asked it so I'm gonna help you out today the best way I can let me put that in there so if you want to learn more about these questions that I've gotten keep watching okay. like I mentioned before I did a three-part video I'm gonna link them up here somewhere you know and you can click them and watch them so let's get right into it first question I got I'm gonna be looking down and looking at my um, phone to get um, this question just so I you know get them correctly I've got questions on YouTube I've got questions on Instagram so most of the questions I'm gonna do today are, uh, today are gonna be from my Instagram and um, you can go to the comments down below and ask some more questions and maybe I'll do a part two but you know I'm just gonna go from here okay wait if you have not subscribed to my channel come on let's go I'm here helping you out making you you know getting you answers to questions that you would have to pay a lawyer for I'm just saying subscribe okay let's get right into these questions so first questions it says I want to know how much time you waited for NVC to send the date and of your scheduled interview. So that's like a favorite question everybody's been asking. So um, it took, what, almost two weeks for us to get an interview date. Um, we submitted our NVC um, um, documents. NVC is a national visa center for some people that don't already know that. Um, we got our interview date in between two weeks. Of our submission actually no between two weeks two weeks of them replying and saying um, we have received all and approved of all your documents that you submitted okay so two weeks um, so somebody said I petitioned my husband and we are in the last process please how long will it take to get an interview from Nigeria it's been going to one week and some days since NVC accepted our documents. That's kind of along the same line as what I just answered. However, now, um, don't expect a mail or letter from NVC for um, for your appointment date, okay? It's gonna be in an email. I just wanna put that out there. I have heard people saying, oh, I didn't get a letter, I didn't get a, no, you're not gonna get a letter. Make sure you check your emails for, um, uh, an email from NVC um, and you know and if you haven't gotten anything after two weeks it wouldn't hurt to call and ask um, for an update so if it makes you feel better just call did your husband file the DS 260 or you did it so the DS 260 is a form that's included in the NVC um, SEAC website for the person you filed for to fill out so some people might get confused with this. So the DS-260 form is really to get more information on the person that's being filed for. Like I said in one of my videos, is literally your history of where you've lived, where you've worked, um, you know, just getting more details about you. So the person that um, that's being filed for would have to fill that out. However, now, you, you, the sponsor or the petitioner that filed it, you have access to it. You can review it. So don't just leave this for your spouse alone to do. Like, it's pretty long. And sometimes um, the American way of asking questions is different from 
the way other countries ask questions. So please make sure you review, review it. Because if they have an issue with that form or um, documents that you've uploaded, they're going to keep reaching back to you and it's going to take longer for them to give you an interview date. So make sure you review this form over and over before you submit it. Um, and then somebody wrote, hello, beautiful. Okay. I came across your page and watched your YouTube video. I'm currently married and in the process of filing for my husband. I'm a U.S. citizen and wanted to know about filing out for the I-130 form. Did you use your married or maiden last name on your application? So that was something I didn't even think people would ask, but somebody asked. Um, so I used my maiden name. I got married um, January 2018, and um, I didn't change my name before I started filing, and that does not impact your um, filing at all. So don't think you have to change your last name before um, you file. So don't get crazy with that. It does not affect anything. I used my maiden name and everything was perfect. Next. Um, I've seen your video on YouTube about the spouse visa. Um, I'm about to take the journey process in the form so that I can bring my wife here. But I'm just scared to get into the journey as I have realized I have less evidence or my evidence won't be enough. I went back home for a marriage and I just did a simple one with no party and invitation so I will lack enough pictures for wedding plans. The only thing I have is a marriage certificate, a couple of pictures in the office where the marriage took place. So with only this, will I be successful? Will I be successful if I get into the journey? I'm a permanent resident from East Africa. Joe, and this person lives in New Hampshire. It's so interesting how this my video has gone around. So number one, your marriage certificate is the big, biggest evidence you can have, okay? Um, you're gonna file for I-130, which is spousal. So don't be worried if you don't have enough pictures. Number one, they just need a few pictures, you know, um, showing how, like when you guys met or just like random pictures when you go home to visit and then when you do your wedding, you, it could be court wedding pictures. Um, it doesn't have to be a whole big party. They don't need that. But if you have it, great. But your marriage certificate holds so much weight. And then if you do travel back and forth, the um, your passport um, stamps, um, you know, is an evident. Your ticket um, itinerary is an evidence. Um, and also, this person says is a permanent resident. I'm a green. I'm a um, citizen, so I don't know so much detail of how it goes with permanent resident. However, I believe it's the same steps. But I've heard. I'm not confirming anything, but I've heard that the um, permanent residence it takes a little longer um, than the citizenship. Okay, so don't hold back from filing for your wife or your husband if you only if you feel you don't have enough evidence. Your marriage certificate. Is more than enough evidence okay um, so somebody said hello mrs. easy I'm a fellow subscriber from your YouTube channel I watch all of your I 30 videos and I just have one question I'm a permanent resident and it's been eight months since I applied for the I 30 file and got their confirmation and a tracking number but I still haven't received my first approval should I call them Yes, you can call. You can call as many times as you want. They're just going to tell you we're still looking at your case. And if there's any update, they'll tell you we have moved it to the National Visa Center. Keep calling. Even though it's annoying being on the line with them, but just keep calling. Don't give up. Um, and then this person says, I feel like they will tell me to wait and that they are still processing it. Everyone is anxious. I think I should wait. What, should you, what would you advise? And I said, call. You know, it doesn't hurt to call. Just call, give them a call, ask them, you know, for an update on your case. It's, they're not gonna, you know, not answer you. You know, they might just, they'll just tell you, keep waiting. Um, this is where your file is at. It's being entered into the computer, something, but at least you know you called. And then um, somebody else says, my wife filed for me January and then we got receipt. But since we got receipt, we only received emails saying they are still checking our case. So for this one, um, so if you filed in January this year, 
um, give it after the first approval, which is they got your um, file, your form, I-130 form, just give it some time. It takes, like I said in my video, it takes, it took me seven months to hear back for the first approval. That's the longest time. And then since you applied in January now, there was a government shutdown this year. So that pushed some, you know, um, processes a little backwards. So they're a little backed up. So just give them a call if you're worried and just keep waiting um seven months and then after seven months you don't hear something call them and you know it's a it's a weight game you just have to be patient that's all i can say trust me me saying that to you right now is the truth when somebody told me be patient i'm just like oh i'm tired of being patient but you know it's a waiting game just keep being patient you know and if it makes you feel better call why not so this one this person is asking do I need to print out the pictures that I um, uploaded in the NVC website when going to the interview? Yes, print out all those pictures, make an album. Everything you submitted to the SEAC website, print them out and take it to the embassy, everything. <laughs> and make sure you print the confirmation page. You need that so much, okay? And then, um, you know, I I think I'll find a video to link, but a video of how somebody put together all the information. You can create a binder of everything your spouse submitted and everything you submitted and everything about you. Like, you know, make a cute binder and just like send it to your spouse. And then one person said they got married and they have the original marriage certificate. How should they get it back to their spouse? So just to let you know, don't go to your interview if you do not have the marriage certificate. The original copy. They don't want the, the photocopy. They don't want anything. They want the original. So if you're the spouse going for the interview, make sure you have the marriage certificate. They don't care if you already scanned it to them. Take it with you. So this person, I don't know how you're going to do it. DHL, um, UPS, just make sure you do uh, expedited and also a certified mailing don't mail it like you're posting a letter this is your marriage certificate and an original copy and then if you know somebody that's going back home that's one of the safest way give it to them and tell them please get this to my spouse we need this for the interview okay and better still if you're going to visit your spouse take it to them you know that's the best that's the best one um and then somebody else um asked um this person was asking about fees. They said, they said, how much is it for the um, medical that you have to go do? So it varies in each country. Um, in Nigeria, I believe it's, uh, babe, how much was the medical fees? Uh, 85000 Which is $200? okay so somebody asked about the medical um, um, fees that you have to pay when you're going to do the uh, medical checkup and stuff that cost in Nigeria to be specific that cost 85,000 naira but American dollars is about two hundred and ten dollars okay so there are fees in every junction of this filing if you don't know this there are fees 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 everywhere it's very annoying you know, somebody was like, what? why don't they just put a flat fee and you just pay all at once? No, they don't. It's a fee in every junction. Every time you submit something, there's a fee. Okay? So, I think that's all I have for now. I hope I've been helpful to somebody out there. If you have any more questions, reach out to me. I'll try to keep answering. I, um, thank you for watching. And... Yeah, have a wonderful day or a wonderful week wherever you watch this video. And I hope to see you next time. And this is peace. Deuces. Take care, guys.